zero? Yeah. Hmm, wow. Besides that, it might be weird. Uh, I would, I would, I would say my mom. Uh, my mom, I don't want to put her story out there. It's pretty personal, but my mother, she, she's like a personal hero to me. She went through a lot. She really went through a lot, and her strength and love is that build my foundation to know that um, when she had all odds up against her, she forward. I mean, no matter what humiliation she came up with, she put forward. You know, it just really um, built the strength in her, you know, and she will be probably one of my personal heroes, um, definitely. Um, uh, there's another, um, I was raising my son, he, he, I had him at, um, I was 24 weeks when I had him, he was premature, and, um, this boy is so determined when it comes to anything, he takes for any challenge any time, and for someone to tell me that he had a 50 good chance to live, um, he defeated all odds. You know, the three months he was in, he was hospitalized. He, um, the time, and he's nine years old today, and, um, he's like one of my little heroes that really inspires me to keep him for him. Because if he could do what he did, you know, being a little too cool, he's just, you know, he's professionally, you know, fight through everything and prove to the God of the best. It looks for his little spirit when to live. It's like, yes, we need to do anything, you know. Um, is there anybody that you hope to meet or that you'd like to thank? Um, besides you guys, I'm not gonna meet you guys soon. Um, uh, <laughs> I to meet you guys. Um, uh, I would say for some reason because it's really. And I don't really think she knows, because I mentioned her in a couple of interviews, would be Chris Cyborg. I, I, I it would have been awesome to be at, at the, uh, the G2, because oh, I would have been so excited to see a role with her. That would be an honor, because this is one woman that was Gina Carano at first, and now is Chris. And I feel like people are either they're really intimidated about her, I really want to see, well, what is it about her? Is she, is she really that mighty in her, in her power and her, you know, her takedowns or her punches and everything? But that's like a challenge right there. And that right there is motivating me to really get out the bed. I don't know. That's like this little secret there. I mean, I don't want to put out there, but I don't know how much ground that that was actually stand on. But, um... I really want to meet Chris, Chris Cyborg, and I really want to take, be able to even have a chance to roll with her to just test her strength to see if she's really this mighty strong woman that's in the cage right now. <laughs> because I really think people, when they get in the cage with her, I think they already defeat, they already defeated themselves by looking at her like, oh my gosh, I'm about to fight, I'm about to fight Chris Cyborg, and I think they will have a little doubt, like, oh my gosh, what if I messed up, or... Um, like a little sense of that, that they may not win or they may not be a, a good challenge for her. And then right when that happens, you lost the fight right then and there. You know, and so I, I just, I think that's it. I, that's my, my goal. One of my number one goals is to really be able to get out there to have a chance to roll with her or even have a chance to have a, a, a fight, you know. Um, God willing to get me out the bed and, you know, strengthen my bones just for that challenge to prove to people, hey, Chris Cyborg is just as human as we are, <laughs> you know. Uh, that's the mighty, oh. mighty, mighty huh? Mia Hayes challenge. Well, I'm sorry? I said that's the mighty Mia Hayes challenge, just Chris exactly. Cyborg right there. Okay. She I mean, wanted... you, haven't, you haven't met mighty Mia yet. I was just mad right now, but trust and believe <laughs> I'll make sure you remember me, because I, I don't go down easy. I mean, the boys in my gym would tell you, I don't go down, I broke my arm that way, because I don't I don't give up easy at all, you 
you know, I don't, I don't break easy. Um, so that, that's why I, I just, when I saw, when I watched a couple of her fights, it's just like I just see a lot of, um, of opportunities that people miss, you know? And, um, because they're, you know, they're just intimidated by, maybe it's her name, Cyborg. <laughs> so yeah, and, and I and I and I give her all the props because if she has these people, you know, pretty much, you know, just wondering if they really can beat her, you know, if she's really a good challenge, and you know, I give her major props. I mean, she worked hard for it, you know, she really did. So you know, I'm, I'm I know it sounds like a dream, but we all know dreams can come true. Yes, most ma'am. Definitely. <laughs> yes, most definitely. What? What? In, I guess I, I'm. I'm interested to to know. Um, you know, what is it that you want to tell everybody about um, going through something like this and rising above? I guess. I mean, it seems like what you've been through and what you're just talking about right now is very inspirational and also words. You know, you know how to inspire yourself and encourage yourself. I think that's the biggest inspirational part about you. Is that possible? Yeah, I said, gosh, I think I inspire myself too. <laughs> well, you do because you're, so, you know, you. Well, or you rise to the challenge, maybe, um, you know. But I what? Like you guys, I don't know if you guys are waiting to see what really, what really resonates or what really comes out of this Mighty Me experience. I'm kind of waiting and watching, like you guys. Uh, I'm curious, you know. Um, I'm excited at the same time because everything is just moving without me moving. It's like everything is moving ahead of me. And I'm, I'm actually just watching like you guys are. And um, the only thing I could say is just continue to stand your ground, stay faithful, you know, um, just continue to just, you know, stay encouraged. You know, if you feel a sense of fear, come on, you knock it out the water right away, you know. And um, it's just about me really standing strong and not moving, you know, not not budging, you know, and putting all your might into the into the self and everything. And that, you know, like I said, whatever you set your mind to, you know, just really think and don't be moving. Because it is difficult, you know, we have so, so much um, distraction. You know, you have so many people that would doubt and they can really get into your mind and make you fall off here and there. So if you stop and think that, how about if I just keep, you know, the fight and staying positive and staying my ground?